I'm brand new to business, mm -hmm. right? What are the things that I need to check off to start my first company? Your ego. Mm. You need to you need to check it off the list and put it away. Okay, <laughs> love that. You got to put it away because this is a it's a humbling deal. Professionalism is a lost art. Mm. It's a lost art. If you're starting a business today or you're trying to scale and grow a business today and build enterprise value, professionalism is it's just huge. And it sounds so simple. It's like okay, well, what does that mean? I mean, whether it be professional, whether it be communication, the way you dress, the way you 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 talk to people, um, rather it be the way you act. Communication is a differentiator. And you know how much it costs to be an amazing professional? Zero. Mm -hmm. Zero. It's nothing. Professionalism is, is always number one mm -hmm. because I think it's a lost art and I think it's something that people want in business. And if you're going to try to win somebody over, I've never heard somebody say, well, that guy's just or that girl's just too professional. They're too professional. I've never heard yeah. it in my life, right? And so professionalism is key. By the way, it's free. The second thing is, um, think, and this is along lines of professionalism, thinking big Thinking big is awesome. I'm a, I love to think big. I remember being a, a, a young guy and being around a, a multi-billionaire, and he would always say, Vic, you're not thinking big enough. You got to think bigger. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Thinking big is important. But let me tell you where the real opportunity is. Act bigger. Mm. So think big, but act bigger. And you say, okay, what does it mean to act bigger? Well, it could be all the way from your brand identity. It could all be all the way from your social media. It could be the product that you're delivering to the marketplace. I mean, you want to deliver a product to the marketplace that has relentless value to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, just a ton of value, more value than you're charging. If you're trying to build a business, deliver exponentially more value than you're charging. And if your thought is, well, I'm delivering a lot of value, I'm going to raise my price. Think twice about that. Mm -hmm. Do you want market share? Do you want to build enterprise value? So think big, act bigger, being professional. And I think, I think that you cannot focus on people enough. You cannot focus on people enough, right? If I was going to make that list, and I know it sounds so like, no, Vic, we want to get more tactical. That's tactical. Mm -hmm. It's people. Get get people that could be um, by your side that are loyal. Loyalty is so huge. T tenacity is huge. Get people that are tenacious. Be tenacious. I, how many things in life have you given up on? And you're like, man, I am so glad I gave up on that. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a short list. Very few. It's a short, but yeah. there are some things that you need to give up on. Yeah. There's a long list of things in my life that I've had a moment of uh, instability in my brain. Mm -hmm. And I've said, I think I'm going to give up on this. And I'm so glad I didn't. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I didn't. And by the way, number one is people. There's so many times I'm like, man, they got to go. And then I'm like, wait a minute, what's really going on here? And so being, um, here's another skill set that I would tell entrepreneurs to focus on is it's not about you. It's not about you. One of the greatest lessons I ever learned is what the power is to build a team of, pe team of people around you that may not give 110% like you do, but if they only give 100%, this is pretty easy math, mm -hmm. and there's eight or 10 of them, that's a lot more percentage than your 120%. So if it's 100%. all about you and you're like, man, I want to get sharp, I want to be the best, that's great. But you know what? No matter how good you are, you are one human. Mm -hmm. You are one person. So if if I'm learning, I love to learn. I love to learn. I, I, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll be very transparent and tell you this. I love to learn so I can share information, right? Mm -hmm. I hope that I learn from it and it influences my own life. But if you're an entrepreneur and you're building a business, learn not just to share it with yourself, but to share it with everyone else. Educate your employees, educate your customers, educate stakeholders. Be a catalyst of knowledge and information. Be a disciple for knowledge and information, right? I mean, mm -hmm. that's just that's just huge. So um, I could go down a long list. Yeah, this is great. Don't ever let profit, um, you know, a confuse, don't confuse profit and revenue. Mm -hmm. Profit is the greatest insurance you're ever going to have in the success of your business. Mm -hmm. And you could say, well, we're just going after revenue. We're going to get massive, massive revenue. Look, if you're trying to build the next unicorn tech company, more power to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not qualified to coach you. Right. Yeah. I don't have any wisdom for you. I don't understand <laughs> that. Right. For me, I like distributions. It is what distributions mean. And you understand that from the real estate mm -hmm. business. Right. Distributions mean that we can take money out of the company or we have cash that we can spend on growing the enterprise value of the business. Right. Mm -hmm. So focus on profitability. It's about profitability. Know what your flow through is. Right. So you've got this top line revenue yes. number. Understand when that flows through and it gets down to the bottom, how much of that did you keep? Mm -hmm. How many expenses do you have that sucked away your flow-through percentage, mm -hmm. right? And so 
no profitability, go after profitability because it is it is what's going to allow you to be sustainable and it's going to sustain your business. And let me just tell you, if you want to attract the best people in the world in a business or customers, you need to have a mindset and a culture and a community of winning, mm. winning. Yes. And, and, and if you're, if you're profitable, you're winning. Mm -hmm. If you have a lot of revenue, but you're not profitable, you may be able to celebrate that revenue, but there's massive, massive risk mm -hmm. that comes with not having the profitability. Absolutely. And so it, people want to be around people that are winning. Mm -hmm. So position your business so you could win, even if it's small, even if it's small, you'll get to where you need to be if you're focused on that winning piece of mm -hmm. it. So no, I that could, was huge. Yeah. I could go down a long list. <laughs> Those are kind of fundamentals that quite candidly, I've built, you know, some extraordinary businesses just doing that. Yeah. Just doing that. Right. It's not about, I've never learned an algorithm. <laughs> I've never written code. Um, I've never, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things that I haven't done, but doing that means a lot. And then love people, man, love people. If you can't love people, you're just going to have a real challenge mm -hmm. um, building anything that has massive enterprise value. Absolutely. And that's, I think the sooner that entrepreneurs can understand that it's a people game, the sooner that they win, right? Yeah. Be yeah, because a lot of people either stay stuck at this solopreneur stage or they bring on the wrong people or whatever, and they wonder why their business is dysfunctional. If they can figure out people, I would say everything else that you just mentioned will slowly fall into place. Totally. Right. Like it's it, all it, about people. A hundred percent. It's all about people. It's never going to not be about people. I don't <laughs> care how many robots we have. I don't care how many spaceships we have. I love that stuff, mm -hmm. man. I mean, I am eating up with it, right? My kids are like, dad, quit telling me about AI. Yeah. I got it. I love all that stuff. It's about people though. Mm -hmm. That The game behind the game of business, and we know the game of life, it's about people and it's not going to go away and be extraordinary at it. And the mm -hmm. way to be extraordinary at it is the more people you know, the more people you talk to, and it's you don't need to go get a degree in psychology, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that may be helpful, but it's just about knowing how to harvest and cultivate relationships with people. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it valuable, please watch this next one. I think you're going to love it.